Alright, I'm going to do a little run through here of the uh, paramedic missions in Grand Theft Auto 3. When you first start it, try to grab some of the quick ones, some ones nearby quickly. This way you can get your time up quicker. 21 seconds. I always go for this 8 right here because there's usually someone around here. You'll notice the uh, ear bleeding, annoying siren sound. And uh, it is annoying, but it is helpful. It will get people out of your way as you see this guy's getting out of my way, even though he's basically moving more in my way. L3, shut it on and off. But I suggest you keep it on if you're going to do this. Try to pick up people in bunches. Especially, like, this is level 11 I'm doing right now. I'm usually going to find, you know, some people that are kind of like crammed together. Make sure to grab them and then you're all set. You'll accumulate a lot of time quickly without much effort. It's just a matter of riding back to the hospital once you're done. Once they're basically slightly into the ambulance, you can take off. This guy's almost going to get hit here. This guy's down near my hideout. I wonder if he's trying to rob me. He got hurt. Because he met my pet pit bull, Rex. Nah. Anyways, I got a full ambulance now, so I got to bring it back to the starting point. I know it's common sense and all, but try to be delicate with the ambulance because you can't take a lot, lot of damage. See, mine's already pretty beat up, but you don't want to run the risk of wearing it way down and then, then it's going to give you a problem later. Because I ran over my patient there, which is never a good thing. Don't do that. You see, like, I got these two that were pretty close together, which is good. I'm going to be running into people, like I'm doing. Yeah, out of the gate, just start off. Generally, I go south on the map, and I go toward that 8, like I said, because there's usually a few people close enough by. See, that guy I can't pick up yet because the full ambulance. Crew here. And also, too, this thing rolls over very easy. Try to be careful. Try not to run over random pedestrians. So you'll get unwanted attention. Don't want. And you don't want to run into cop cars because you get attention you don't want either. I got lucky there. You'll only gain time for the first time you drop off at the hospital. Not every time after, unfortunately. This guy's running me off the road here. Let's hope there's no more of that. My ambulance is already kind of beat up. But yeah, once you accumulate a lot of time, then you can, you know, plan your route, take your time to get there, and ones that are far away, you won't have to worry so much about rushing to get them. Now when I start level 12 here, I'm going, I'm going to give away a big, big spoiler. So if you don't want to hear it, then you can shut off your speakers or mute the video if you want. If you don't want to watch the video anymore because of it, well, I've showed you enough, so I think you can get started at least. But, uh, I prefer to get, I prefer to do paramedics here, 
in Portland for a few big reasons. For one, Staunton Island, nice, it's a nice place to get around and once you know it, it's definitely a nice easy place to navigate and whatnot, just like Portland, and you got a lot less hills. The hills is the one big issue with Portland. But getting into the place is difficult. Unlike here where you see I just drive it right in. I have my entrance from the other direction there. Right through the right next to the grass there. Nice and easy. And for Staunton I basically what I did the first time I beat this game I did it there. The guys I get run over with. And it's just, I would basically go over a hill to get in there instead of taking the actual mint for entrance to get in. But it was basically because it was just, it was too long and time consuming to use the actual entrance. So I'd do it that way, but it's risky to do it that way. And the thing is, once you unlock Staunton Island and do a few missions, you basically can't do this in Portland anymore because... The moth, every time the Mafia sees you, they're going to try to kill you, and they got shotguns, and they're shooting at your truck here with shotguns, and they'll blow you up pretty quickly, and that's not good, so Portland's basically out of the question to do anything side mission-wise once you unlock Staunton Island. Now, Shoreside, oh great, I don't know where this guy is. Now, Shoreside is like, it's very hard to navigate Shoreside because it's two very distinct areas of Shoreside. What are you in here? Oh man, it's gonna hurt me. I might not be able to finish this round because of this guy. 21 seconds for that. Okay. And those two distinct areas, it's hard to get from one to the other. There's basically only one or two ways to get there. So doing paramedics is like impossible, basically. It's very difficult to do that way. And I get in a lot of time for these guys. I don't think I'm going to finish this round. But yeah, that's why I prefer to do it here and before I unlock Stolen Island. Plus, unlocking Unlimited Run early in the game is definitely very beneficial, especially, especially when you're getting chased by cops and whatnot. And there are some missions where you're not going to be able to help it, you just end up, for whatever reason, getting chased around and they're shooting up your car and you have to bail eventually and you end up just running around trying to get away. And having the infinite run is going to help that a lot. Alright. I might be able to finish this off. The other two here are in the D. As I call it. St. Mark's here. Pretty sure they were both in here. I hope they were both in here. That would make it a lot easier for me. The other one's a little further down. So I'm probably screwed. race back. See if I can make it. That's a rolling amulet. Looks like I got it. I don't have to hear that ears bleeding sound anymore. Mission ended. Excellent, excellent. Oh, there you go. Hope that helps someone, at least. You can see my beeper talk, talking about the complete mission. You will never get tired when you're running. 
Excellent. Hope that helps.